A very big hello to Pete and Jeff as well. I don't know if you've tuned in yet, but you are not here and you are listening. So hello to you guys. As the two teams enter the field here at the Apex Taxi Stadium, we're going to be back in just a few minutes to give you full match day commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the field. Your two teams, Bootle and your Runcore Linux. Um, no, I think we should, I think Jack put, did, put something out before. Yeah, I put the announcement. Was that you? Before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. This is such a better version of it, isn't it? Uh, I've asked Pete to score today. Well, I thought when you said he was replacing Mackenzie O'Neill. <laughs> Pete Wiley up front. <laughs> Pete Wiley up front. What, what, what could go wrong? So we, we as a media team sponsor Pete Wiley at the age of 88 and was manager of Runcorn AFC from 1980 to 1986, leading us to title success in the Alliance Premier League and our first ever trip to Wembley. We send our condolences to John Widow Rena and her son Nigel. The applause will begin on the referee's whistle. Going to be taken quick by Sean Smith down the line towards Harwood. He chests it inside well towards Berkey. It's picked up by the informed man as he shoots it. Ricochets back to him. He shoots again and into the bottom corner. It's a blockbuster start for Bootle. And it's the man in form, Michael Berkey, as he cut inside off the left. His first shot was blocked by Omani, but the rebound fell back to him and he smashed it home to make it run corner nil. Boot on one. Very windy up on this gantry today. It's getting a bit windy, yes. Thrown in towards Lewis Doyle now as he takes it down on his chest. He's being held up again by a boot man. It swung in well towards Malloy. Malloy's header and Thompson has to tip it round the post. I think he tried to catch it, but got it all wrong and he nearly fumbled that into his own net, Jack. Yeah, keeper's got to be doing better there. Corner kick now as Doyle's over. Right foot, he swings it low towards Omani. Omani around the corner. Great save by Thompson. On his line, oh, I was on crutches that night. I was not at my parents' evening that night. <laughs> Ball onto Doyle's chest as he hooks one forward towards Malloy. He's putting Miley under pressure. And it's a foul, apparently. It's a foul, apparently. Yes, because everyone knows. Rule 17A.1. <laughs> Point one says if you lie on the floor flat faced, <laughs> free kick. You keep that bench nice and warm. Short ball is in towards Napa. Napa's first touch is a good one to get inside the box. And then there's a bit of afters between Smith and Napa as Barrett 
looks to cut inside, finds Welsh. Welsh into Barrett again with a chance to set himself and cross. It's a good cross in towards Saxon, headed up into the air by Anthony Miley, then forward by Roberts, one in the air by Doyle, down towards Saxon. He turns and his snapshot is over the crossbar. He just didn't really set himself there, Will Saxon. No, he just swung his foot at it, didn't he? Since the goal. Yeah, I think... Um... Short delivers, left-footed towards the back post. It finds Napper, right-footed shot. It's a great save by Tony Thompson. That is near post that denied Kieran Napper his first full goal goal. It will come. It will come at some point, Jack. You've got to look at look at them ones, haven't you? Will he? <laughs> he's hit that. He's hit that really well. He's done everything right, Kieran Napper. That they... Header only finds Napper as he heads it down towards Malloy. Malloy back to Napper again as he looks for the run of Saxon in behind, but he can only find Roberts' heel. But he does well to win it back, Kieran Napper as he cuts inside, finds Doyle. Doyle looks for the space, but his shot is over the bar. He's got to do better there for me, Lewis Doyle. Don't I? Yeah, that was not the Lewis Doyle we all know and love. <laughs> He's down. Of course. Of course. Long left foot clearance up towards Harwood. It's over the top of him and headed away by Peter Wiley. Only as far as Harwood again, then cleared long again by Peter Wiley as the half time whistle goes here. At the Apex Taxi Stadium, and it's run for nil. Bootle won. It's been a, a real uh, poor showing in those first 45 minutes for Run Corn um, going behind after two minutes. Thanks for that, uh, Michael Berkey goal. But Jack, your first half thoughts? Um, unironically, Sam, Peter Wilde, he's been on my match so far. And not just because he's on Bucket Art Effect because he's everywhere. Um, but no, um, my honest half-time analysis is um, to all the listeners at home, be grateful that you're at home because it's been a poor game of football. <laughs> all right. Berkey with the ball in behind towards Hoskinson. Hoskinson onto the loose ball. He lobs Passant, but over the bar. He didn't need to lob him there. He had time to take the ball down and just roll it past him. Towards Malloy, won by Miley as he hooks it down towards Hilton. Hilton inside towards Carney. Hooks on forward towards Harwood. He does well to beat Oman in the air and head it down towards Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson now with Berkey in behind. It's a good ball into the feet of Michael Berkey. Cuts inside Barrett onto his right foot. Rolls it to Hodgkinson. His right footed shot is blocked by Sean Omani. It's a brilliant, brilliant block from Omani there. Give him a bit, a bit more something. Corner by Hilton is ricocheted around. Pass it to the heap on the floor. And the... Referee blows his whistle as he allows the physio to run on. Yeah, hopefully nothing too serious. Hopefully only just serious enough to abandon the game. <laughs> Kieran Napper. He's going to use Sean O'Mahony. He looks out wide towards James Short. He's got Napper in front of him, but uh, a good bit of defender by Ben Hodgson. He has the ball back, and now Hodgson's got a run on goal. He's going to use Harwood to his right, and Jack... Welch is there and Bailey's there and I don't know how to commentate over that. Um, <laughs> that was a crazy, crazy 10 seconds all around there. It was a... Ball long towards Harwood and Hodgkinson. We're headed forward by Omar. Oh picked up by Napa. Nice little bit, bit, bit of football from Run Court. The one, two, and Adam Mosley is through into the box. Ollie Malloy with a chance and he's hit it wide. Off the right hand post there. I feel like Adam Mosley really unselfish there to pass the ball back to Oli Malloy. Mosley himself should have taken the chance there. And he turns away and finds Roberts again into Hodgkinson. Again, not a foul. So apparently, the rule book has been updated too. If you win the ball, it's a foul as well. Yeah. Napper does well to get past Roberts now as he drives down the left hand side. He's being chased by Jay Roberts. Now Kieran Napper as he crosses left foot across the front of the goal and Ollie Manoy nearly got in front of Tony Thompson there, but it ends up into the grateful hands of the bootle goalkeeper. Then Hoskinson does really well there to muscle James Shaw off it. Then Berkey beaten to it by Wells. And there's a late challenge by Hodgkinson there as there's a a bit of afters as well. It was a, a it was a late challenge by Hodgkinson on Doyle. Jack Welsh wasn't too happy with it. Yeah, I heard uh, Jack Welsh mention the word. That he just whispered, "You're a myth, mate." <laughs>
Uh, Hodgkinson is going to go into the book for the tackle. The clearance then finds Carney, who does really well to come inside. Craig Carney but can't get past Peter Wiley, but he manages to nudge it to Hodgkinson, who shoots wide of Bailey Patton's right post. And here comes that change for Runcorn now. Yeah, another chance for Bootle there, but it's by the book half them, man. Doyle's corner kick now, delivered in towards Malloy. It's, it found Ryan Brook in the middle of the box there, but his volley is wider than Mark. I thought he was going to find the head of Ollie Malloy, but he seemed to just allow it to go past him and find Ryan Brook's uh, tame volley. It's close. Were you saying he's close to 100? He's well over. He's close to 150. Oh, Gums swings it in. It's headed away by... <coughs> out for another run corn corner kick. It nearly ended up on the head of Ryan Brook. Doyle, right-footed corner kick in towards the middle of the box. It's through everyone. Finds Omani at the back stick who hooks it back in towards the far post. Brook goes up. He heads it back across goal, but it's cleared in the end only as far as Lewis Doyle. Doyle then heads it back in towards Welsh. Picked up by Roberts as he looks for the runner Peterson, but the Vanek instead who looks wide towards Malloy. Malloy takes it on his chest and then he does well to get past Anthony Miley as he drives into the bootle half. Now it's He's all on his own, to be fair, Ollie Malloy, but he's done well to get something away from Jay Roberts, and the ball is in towards the box, but Tony Thompson just easily, easily gathers that and spends another 10, 15 seconds on the floor. Half, he's cut inside Sonny Hill, and then he nudges it to Lewis Doyle. Doyle back towards Gums, Gums on his left foot, shoots from distance, it hits a hand as a referee! That was a that was a big appeal for a handball. And it, Tom Peterson was also a country mile offside there. That was a very, very big appeal for a handball there. How that line has just said he was level is beyond me. He was miles offside. As the full-time whistle goes here, but big, big appeals late on for a penalty there. To me, from here, it looked like a handball on uh, Sam Hughes inside the box. Referee allowed play to continue. And the full-time whistle has gone here at the Apex Taxi Stadium and it's finished one call nil, Bootle one. That goal coming on two minutes, just two minutes into the game, was all done and dusted here. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, a poor showing from the home side, Jack.